$25,000 on the line. The first spot in the semifinals up for grabs as John Beast and Wesley take their historic rivalry to game number three, the rubber match here from the Ultimate Madden Bowl presented by Lexus. These two players are locked in and ready to go. Take a look at our tail of the tape. See how these guys size up against each other. I mean, you're talking about just $800,000 between the two of them, two of the most accomplished Madden players around. Two of the top guys in the sport gonna collide in a grudge match. You don't see that too often, tied 1-1. A lot of respect on the line here, a lot at stake, besides just a cool little $45,000 and a spot in the semifinals. Wesley, you know Clef, in the back of his mind, that ring, he needs a trophy. John Beast has a couple of them. He doesn't have one yet. Yeah, Wes, I mean, when you when you get in these tournaments and, and you got the resume Wes has, it's ringer bust. It's belter bust. So, you know, he got the ultimate goal in his head already. So this is just another stepping stone for him to get to where he's trying to get to. For the final time tonight, let's head inside Lexus Stadium for our first quarterfinal matchup. The number two seed, John Beast, the number 10 seed, Wesley. $45,000. And a spot one win away from the Vegas Ultimate Madden Bowl final. It is John Beast with the ball first. And you know, Ty might have a little bias here. He's rocking those Patriots uni. A big Patriots fan as we get to know John Beast a little better. The sixth highest earning player of all time. I feel like he's only been playing for just a couple minutes. Yeah, Jonathan Marquez repping all the way from Connecticut over on the East Coast can become third three-time MCS major champion. If he can win another one and get that first ever ring, John Beast, man, he's playing on a confident level. You can tell he thrives, Clef, in these big game moments. Can you, can you imagine, Clef, if John Beast joins the three-time club? I mean, it feels like he just stormed out of the scene, and he has a chance to become a three-time Madden, something only two other people have done. That's how you know this is a golden era of Madden. There are a lot of talented, talented, talented players out there, and then you got talented players out there like John who put it all together and, and win the big thing. It's just it's impressive what he's accomplished. Some people call him the Beast tie. I've heard some people starting to call him the unit. The unit. First and 10. Bunch short side. Solo receiver to the left. Isaiah Pacheco, the back. CJ Stroud back to pass. John B steps up with CJ Stroud. Every time I watch John B's play, Ty, I feel like his pocket presence and what he does. It's how he got his belt this year. It, it is elite. It is elite, and it seems like he just keeps improving and getting better in every single tournament, getting more comfortable on the big stage. Oh, shot, dangerous throw. And, and, you know, the big story of this game to me is Wesley's defense again. I mean, we saw how phenomenal Wesley's defense was in that first game. First play right there, he did a great job. User and kind of took away everything. John Beach was forced to scramble. Second play, John goes to double post. One of the best plays in the game. Wesley was all over it. Third and nine. Stroud, quick throw. Gets it out of his hands quickly. One way Clef to deal with that middle pressure that's been coming, getting home all day long is to get rid of the ball quickly. Yeah, you got a quick dot, and that was a great job of him running verticals that way. You don't see a lot of people run verticals that way besides Skimbo letting the outside receiver motion out, letting him sit there and throwing that wheel to beat cover three. First run play, it was four yards. Really good run defense from Wesley. I'm excited to see how John looks this first drive because he's the one with no momentum. You know, he hasn't played today. No matter he played rep games or not, Wesley coming off a big time win today already. Jay Stroud back to pass, quick throw underneath. It is Megatron. Get back a bunch of that and more. Picks up 10, third and four. There's a bunch strong formation here. Third down and four. Looks like that dagger play. You're gonna have a couple, a lot of crossing routes here. Throws it back across his body. Good click on feet, inbounds, first down for the Beast. That's and that Zay great. Flowers club has been huge all day long. Uh, John, you see him rocking him here in that slot receiver position. Yeah, him and Calvin are tough. They're, they're especially with the playoff Kim, they're, they're monsters, they're monsters. And that's a great user catch by John because West has deep out on the outside. If he touches him, he's gonna knock that pass out. So just a great click on and, and getting back to the ball. Could've hit the little stop and go. He was just stopping that play. I think the other thing that's interesting to watch, especially for the people at home, these different bunch formations. You, you see, like, with that bunch strong, you end up getting the running back the same side as the bunch. And I think what's interesting is that wide receiver. Blue pass! 
Blue pass! Oh, Find Romeo Dobbs. You, you see that wide receiver step all the way from that wide side tight to the formation, so you can get some really interesting mesh concepts. Yeah, you really can. You know, rocking that C.J. Stroud at quarterback with that hot rope master. We've pretty much seen everyone out here rocking Zay Flowers, Megatron, and Romeo Dobbs at receiver. Uh, John B's using that hot rope master right there, too. Threw in a C route of the trips formation and goes back to the corner out here for a big play. Remember back that in, like, 18, 18, 19? Those C routes were man beaters. Oh, yeah. Now they're, they're all zone beaters. Yeah, and there's so many of them that you can put out there, especially with Hot Route Master. The outside apprentice C route, the slot win, the tight end win. So there's so many ways to just attack the defense, especially attacking the sidelines. Why well, not get simple? Looks like we're going to see stretch here. Pacheco outside. You can move inside. Really good edge contain there. Not get, letting Pacheco get anything. And this is where it's been so tough. Down here inside this five-yard line. We've seen a lot of different things, right? We've seen the stretches. We've seen the inside zones, RPOs. He's going to go stretch again. Oh, a little stick work, and Isaiah Pacheco, Piscataway, New Jersey's finest, is into the end zone. That's great. That's a great vision by John. Great patience to cut that back instead of just running outside. And then the juke move. Just utilizing that juke move and getting in the end zone. That's a big touchdown. We see Justin lose the game pretty much like that by not scoring touchdowns down there. That's a great drive by John. The red zone by far. The toughest place to score right now, and we're seeing it decide games. Yeah, the red zone is critical. It's so important to get points down there. The stretch has been pretty effective, and John B's goes to it. They're able to juke back inside. As we see it here, goes out, cuts back in, then jukes back to the outside. He's able to punch it in the end zone. Move back inside, find six. As we take a look at Wesley Gittins, 13 MCS majors of all time, the third highest earning player. I think temporarily the second, right? He just passed Drini for a moment. Uh, can become the eighth multi-time MCS champion. But, you know, he's looking, he doesn't think of himself as, as a one-time champion. He thinks of himself as he needs to get that individual back. He does. And Wesley is the epitome of consistency, right? Fifth consecutive Madden Bowl. It is so hard to get to this tournament. You have to be so consistent year in, year out through all the tournaments to get here. Wesley's done it again, but like we've talked about, it's that belt and that ring that he needs to get. And, Clef, what's crazy about Wesley, he's done it in person. He did it at home during the COVID area. I mean, that's what's crazy. He's had to fight through not just multiple games, but different settings just to get back to the Madden Bowl. Yeah, you can't knock his resume. He's been doing it, like you said and, and he's done it in all different type of areas you know what I'm saying he's been playing for a long time I know he's still only like 24 I, that's not old you know we gamers try to make that old but he's he's done it in every well, type of area he's always he, been he's almost old enough he's had a name change he got a if name you remember he's Joe, had, Rice. Joe Rice Joe Rice Joe Rice he got a name change which let's be honest Joe Rice was a tough name it was oh why why he switched from Joe Rice I don't know I don't know. I never got to the bottom of why he switched from that that was that I never was got the story of where the Joe Rice came from where did it come from I don't know he wins the last I'm just curious. I just don't, I like, I know where Wesley is. You take a look at the highest yeah. MCS career earners. This is, as of right now, Wesley has temporarily passed Drini. Drini does get to play tomorrow. But boy, if he's able to win today, get another 45K to that number, he'll feel pretty good as Cook right up the middle picks up nine. Now I'm curious, Clef, after that drive, we saw how good Wesley was defensively in his first game. The fact that John B's worked his way down the field and got a touchdown, does that do more for John or does it do more for Wesley? It does more for John because he got ball first to go out there and score seven. Now you put pressure on Wes. Wes is going to have to adjust his game. He really didn't have to adjust much versus Dez because Dez wasn't picking up the pressure. You know, John picked up the pressure that whole drive, so he wanted to do a lot more. Bounce late. It's inaccurate, but you got time to click on Romeo Dobbs to the 30, 25, 20. He'll be taking out inside the red zone. How about that already? Wesley's got a red zone opportunity. The route bounce. And John B's. Gotta think he hates that, but he waits. Wesley rolls out, finds the receiver. He's already got a big play down to the 18. And you see John in a different defense. We haven't seen this defense all day. You see him running 6-1 still. It used to be meta. It's not meta no more. So, you know, it's definitely a different look. Nice read. Man, what a dot. Woo-hoo-hoo! Blink and you'll miss it. Three plays, one score. And we are all tied up here in this quarterfinal battle. Just has that big game feel. You know it's going to go back and forth between these two absolute juggernauts of the Madden community. And great patience right there from Wesley. Goes to verticals. He waits for that wheel route to get behind the defender. Throws it in there for a touchdown. And the difference is a lot of people aren't comfortable playing this style of game. Like, they aren't comfortable playing this up tempo. Both of these guys, they rather play like this. They're, they're perfectly fine playing in the shooting. This game. could be a 45-42 oh, game yeah. by the time we look at it. They Easy. are comfortable with that. And they fine with that. They fine with that. Still Romeo Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs might go down as the player of this tournament. I mean, we're seeing him, him and Travis Kelsey making big catches. 
Good first quarter so far. Seven apiece, touchdown each way. CJ Stroud, four man rush. Waiting, looking, throws it right side. Finds Kelsey late, holds on through the contact. He hung on to that? Are you kidding me? What a laser right there from the beast. Oh, that man. Big shout out once again to Lexus, the official presenting sponsor of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Stroud in trouble. Oh, pick it, pick it. Oh. You'd never like pick to see ball, that ball. You're, you'd almost rather take the sack than see that ball pop up with a chance to pick. And, and John, John's doing a great job. And this is the advantage sometimes of playing the same game. You can see he picking up this egg out. He picking up. You can see he's double. A lot of people was double teaming the D tackle today. You can see him double teaming his D and he's still sending people out. He's still sending out five. First and ten. One second remaining here in the first quarter. Let's throw just a little, little smoke screen over there. Romeo Dobbs first down. Take us to the end of the first quarter. Seven apiece. A reminder to everybody out there in the chat. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Make sure you're using that hashtag Madden on Twitter. Let us know who you think is coming home with the win in this one. Let us know if your team Wesley, your team John Beast. Here in this, our first quarterfinal matchup. And Ty, we got a full day of action tomorrow. A lot of first round matches. We get to see Henry in action in a quarterfinal. And then day three, we get to find out who's going to Sin City. Who's going to Vegas? Me, I mean, I'll, I'll be there, but. We'll be there. Irrelevant. I don't think anybody's excited to see me there. That corner Smoke. route, Megatron. Beautiful. And this is where the Hot Rod Master comes into play, right? You audible over that trips formation. You put the outside wide receiver on a C route there. Creates great spacing. And we've seen a lot of great spacing concepts from John here. The previous play, he had the little smoke screen with the angle route. Checked down to the smoke. Love the offense John's playing. Stroud, left side. Kelsey. First down. Little juke move to stay oh, in. Oh, 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 Jonathan Marquez showing off the stick work. Fire him up in the studio. This is why we love John. The passion, the emotion. Fireworks here in the quarterfinals. Good Lord. Maple syrup, honey, and John Beast. I'll take things that are sticky for 500, Alex. Nasty stick work. <laughs> he gets fired up. He's got a little emotion in this one. Absolute character. Absolute character. It was hey, Clef, if there's one thing I know, didn't phase Wesley at all. Wesley's locked in. He's been here before. He, they know each other well, man. You know each other well, so he understands what's going to happen in this game and what's going to be said. Oh, it's a long game. What's interesting to think about is that one will go out of bounds. Clef, these guys have played twice before. This is the first time they're playing in person, though. It's, it's, always, it's a little different when you're playing just another Zoom call, basically. And this time, he's sitting, well, at that point, he was sitting about three and a half inches away. Yeah, he was right there. Yeah, it's definitely different because like when you play at home, you can't really see what the person is saying. You kind of might have an idea. Quick throw to the flat. Romeo Dobbs, back up field. And Wes probably should start thinking about, and you can see he got two clock on. He should probably start thinking about slowing this down. I get ball to half. Let me just take this time with me. Oh, nice. Ooh, good gap shoot. Nice click on hit stick right there. And Clef, you touched on it, but I am surprised to see this 4-3 even 6-1 defense, right? We're so accustomed to that dollar free safety zone blitz or some spinner. Yeah. But this 4-3 even, maybe it throws Wesley off a little bit. We'll see. Oh, my mm. God! Oh, my God! Yeah. Oh, my Listen. God! A, a lot of times, people only see meta. You know, 6-1 is not meta anymore, so... Uh, everybody's seen the A-gap. So coming out here running a different defense that Wes hasn't seen yet, you know, it, it's definitely, he, he definitely giving them fists right now. Third and 13. Stroud back to pass. Looking for that corner route. Can he find Megatron? That's why you got Calvin Johnson out there. He makes the tough catches. And what a dot. Caught him manned up and just burned him on a double corner route. That, that play right there is probably the... Besides doing the best play in Madden, just double corner, beat cover two, and it beat cover three. And you see right there, it beats man-to-man -man as well. 
Stroud rolling right. Does he dare throw it? No, he doesn't. Get you the John. Get you the John. It's a great user. I think West kind of getting into a tell when John blitzing or not. You can see John pinch his line. He's usually not blitzing. You can see West is blocking that tight end. Every time John leaves his line regular, West is blocking his tight end. Stroud. Man of detection over the middle. That's Travis Kelsey near first down marker. Timeout taken by the unit. Up by seven. See right here, pinch his line. Should expect coverage every time his line is pinched. Looking right side, he's got him. Good answer from Wesley Gittens. No panic in the face of pressure. He finds six. He'll tie this game up. Yeah, great dot right up by West on the tight end cross the route. That's why you got You're not wrong. Deadage. <laughs> you hear John say deadage, but he get ball right now. You know, you see West really ain't celebrate too much because you know John got two timeouts, two minutes left. He got plenty of time to go get points. I just want to know if you and Ty are going to break down the touchdown celebration from John Beast. Look at him right here. He yells here, stands up yeah. here. Here's the distance between them. And we got to see exactly what he said. Tell us that. Yeah, we got to see what he said. I, don't, I, I couldn't even hear what he said. It doesn't matter. It don't even matter. It don't matter. <laughs> does John know what he said? I'm, I don't he, know. Does it, but does it matter? Nah. Nah, it doesn't. It's all about looks, aesthetics. Ooh, he keeps the read option with C.J. Stroud. Picks up six. Two-time belt winner, Jonathan Marquez, the number two seed, earned the bye. Earned the belt this year. Stroud, it's just mauled in the backfield. And that's dangerous to keep an RPO like that and, and to take that hit because they will fumble. They will fumble on those RPO reads when you got a bubble route out there. They, uh, they will fumble that from time to time. Third and six. John being real patient right here. He's being real patient. He's not even really too much worried about the clock as much as you would expect. Next pass with Stroud. It's right over the middle of the field. See, there's any flowers. Wide open. First down for the beast. And he, John, I mean, West double Mabel that side. He had to, he had to tie uh, the safety to that side in a curl flat. He had his own drop throwing to play like a deep crosser, but John did a great job of anticipating and throwing in that window right in the soft spot. Handed off to Pacheco. Nice game there. Gets seven. The Madden 24 Most Fear Challenge champion. Madden 22 Ultimate Kickoff champion. Looking to add a Madden Bowl ring to his name. Second and three. Clock down to 45 seconds in the first half. And I think I think John, now you need to start kind of pushing. Okay. Yeah, these are scary. Once again. These are scary. And now you, you and I don't like West taking the time out there at all. Taking the I don't like West taking the time out there. Make John clock himself. He get three right here. You get ball to have. You go get seven, you know, you nullify what he's done this drive. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my Romeo. Lord. Romeo. Romeo Dobbs, one hand. He's just, he's just so lucky. It just, facts. You're just so lucky. It just doesn't matter. He said facts. He uh, wasn't says you're so lucky. He said facts. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> And then Dobbs again. That make you even more mad. <laughs> Don't agree with me. Don't agree with Don't me. Don't agree with me. You might as well disagree. Say, no. No, man. You're going to make me more mad. Don't agree you with me. You are so lucky. Facts. <laughs> Throw this one away. That's crazy comms. That's crazy comms from John Beast. Yeah, and that... That's why I didn't. I didn't like even Wes using that timeout, man. Just don't use that timeout. Like let him make make him have like to play a big play was coming after that timeout. Yeah, right? just you had all, it, everything was in your favor. He was so far out with 30 seconds left. You gotta let him make a mistake himself. Don't help him out. The zig routes. Great pass. Uh, that Kelsey is gonna get open. Touch down. You pick that drive. Beast. Dance on him. Not John Swag. Is he Swag surfing on him? That's not real. I don't know if I'll ever get over. You are so lucky. Thanks. That's crazy. That that right there is just. The response is worse than anything. You can't agree with me. I need you to say, no, I'm not. 
Just say that's a good read. Say that's a dot. Say anything else. Because what's your response back? Okay. <laughs> one more time, Travis Kelsey. Good patience letting that cross the back of the end zone. Great patience, great patience. That's the one thing about coverage down there. You know, if you wait long enough, those corner, those post route, those crosser routes, slant routes in the back of the end zone, they definitely glitch out zones. I'm not gonna lie, we're, we're pretty far from it right now. And, you know, still a lot of this game to go, a lot of tournament to go. But all I can think about right now, Clef, is this man might be a menace in Vegas. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can have him there. They might shut the city down. Yeah, you know, and you know it's something in the air, to, air there, too. You know, just being in Vegas is going to make him even crazier. Even crazier. Mm. So a lot of game left, though. And Wesley looking, maybe he gets some points on the board. Down by seven, eight yeah. seconds left. And he has to, right here, you know John Blitzen, block that tight end. Every time you spread, he's, he's pretty much Blitzen. You got to get out of bounds here. Brings the heat. Over the middle. What a strike. Great tackle right there by John. Bad read by West. Why throw that in bounds? You know, you got to have something going Crazy. to the side. No on. timeouts. He throws it over the middle. And that will take us to halftime. 21 14 the score. Seems like a mistake there from Wesley. I don't know if he had an option on the sidelines, but best he's hoping for. He's got to break three tackles. That, and he will think about why did I call a timeout? Why did I call a timeout? Because John would have played that totally different if you don't call the timeout. Halftime. Here for our first quarterfinal matchup. $45,000 on the line. And is the number two seed. The man who earned the bye with a 21-14 lead. Wesley does get the ball to start the second half. Very soon. Stay tuned. Second half action. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis, Clef the God. User's tucked into bed right now, right? Like, he's not... He, the Justin game's over. He's he's snoring away. Oh, and he's feeling great too. Well, Justin. Why did they put him on the graphic though? They couldn't just put him down as a text. Like his name was supposed to be in the fine print, man. Yeah. Also, also appearing. That's yeah. should been. That. What's yeah. crazy is the the picture that they used. His smile is that smile of I got my picture on this thing. <laughs> I don't know how they did that, but they picked that one. I'm here. I'm here. Third and five. Stroud back to pass. Pressure picked up. It is a flowers over the middle. And a first down for Wesley to the 45 yard line. 10 to 13, 197, two touchdowns. Both players flawless offensively. Oh, yeah. 100% in this offensive battle. These two guys, that's what they're known for. Offensive juggernauts here. Is this going to come down to clock management? Absolutely. That's exactly what it's going to come down to. It's going to be hard for either one of these players to stop each other, but it's going to come down to who can manage the situation better. That's the reason John is upset me, because he just managed the clock better in that first half than Wesley did. Game far from over, $45,000. Guys, I'm going to pull. This was an RG move, uh, and, and I got it. The legend is here, so I don't think he'll mind if I do this. But I need to know that who, what's the chat thinking? We need a one mm -hmm. if they think Wesley's going to win, a two if they think John Beast is going to win. Let's see what's going on. Remember, use that hashtag Madball on X if you're tweeting about this. Let's get it trending. And let us know who you think is going to win, not just today. But the entire man will full day of action tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time, same time, same place. Shout out to the chat. Shout, out, shout out to all the watch parties out there as well. Everybody's out there. Doing watch party, University of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. They were doing a watch party for their man, Dez. Dubby out there, K-Mac, Skimbo. Fender earlier. A lot of people out there doing watch parties. Oh, yeah, Adam. Adam. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. I had the same streak. Just didn't trust it. Yeah, he had it right away if he would have just threw it. And go we'll back the same play. Nice defense. Oh, just missed by John. Looked like he might have manned that tight end up right there. Yeah, he did a great job of, of, of putting him in a position, manned him up, or he had a, on a hard flat to get him all the way out there. But John is real. He's being real. I mean, he's being real readable as far as what he's doing on defense. You know? Line pinch, you're getting rushed three every time. Rolling right, throwing Enzo, clicks on Romeo. You got the same stops. thing. You got the same. <laughs> One thing about Madden, Madden, give it. And Madden take it away. Madden take it away. It'll humble you. Not just does it take it, it'll give it to the other person too. It will humble you. It will humble you in the same game or it'll get you later. It'll get I you mean, later. did Jombies go into the Hulk smash mode right there? He was trying to fight. And then he didn't say the one word. He didn't no, say a he word. Did, uh, it's Wesley. 
Why you so bad? He didn't say a word. Yeah. You can't help but laugh, though, because you got something early in the game. It's like, okay, I, I kind of deserve This that. one is actually kind of a less crazy animation than the one hand. Yeah. And that's why people with these short DBs, people don't like to have them like Rondé Barber. But he runs 6-1, so he likes him out there with mid zone, you know, so he can double Mabel and have him in a cloud flat. And I think what's crazy, and it, it's the inexperience for me, is that you, you lock in the Madden Ultimate team, and so many times you'll look at that overall number, but you won't check that the height. You look at the speed number, but you won't check the height. It almost gets hidden, but height. It's important. This game especially, height means everything. Height means everything. The best jukes come from people who are tall. You know, Calvin, Parham early in the year. Because they're so big, it's their juke. And then you look defensively, Peppers, Moss, they get better animation. Woolen was a dog. They get better animations. Scream at him. How about this this route combo right now going crazy? Zay Flowers with the catch. And John Beast already knocking on the door. Yeah, we've seen this a lot all day from the guys. And John Beast continues to go to it as well. You got the underneath drag, you got the deep cross, and you got that tight end, delayed kind of in route. Really, really tough concept to defend. Trail action end. over the top. I'm different, Romeo. I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. Boy, I'm different. oh boy, was that different, easy. Bro. That man said, I'm different. And John Beast on display right now. He had everything open right there. He had the tight end trail route. He had the deep post. That was, that's what we call cover zero defense. Yeah. It didn't cover a thing. Everything was open. John Beast in business. What a, what a polar opposite game clap that we saw from Wesley earlier. Right now, it seems like, I mean, these are elite offensive players, but they're moving the ball. Will. Yeah, and this is the thing. When you get a player like John Beast, a high-level player like this, when you let them sit back and watch a game, <laughs> and realize how to pick up a blitz. That's the difference in this game. He got all day, and well, West's doing the same stop. thing. West's doing the same thing. He's running the same coverage. I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. You see, he's just telling him he's different. He's different. He different. got different slot what? protections. He just, he died in his defense. Am I going to get a stop? Pressure. Oh, oh, he's doing that! He's doing that! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Can we leave? Like, are we good? I mean, we could just put this on ambient sound and just go home. Once again, he got to know when, when John line is spread like he's blitzing every time. You got to know he's blitzing every time when the line is like this. There's that quick throw. And a good juke move. There goes Dalvin Cook. There goes Dalvin Cook. Oh my there goes God. Dalvin Dude, Cook. Talk to him. Wesley. Wesley, talk to him. Wesley, Wesley Giddens. Oh, my and God. Zone. Dude, you are Look at him. Gotta love this. This one mad and need. My this one this sport of mad and need. If you've you never tuned in to in-person Madden CTG, this is what it's all about. Welcome to the MCS. 45k on the line. And when people say it's just a game, you see this, this ain't this just is a game. more than just a game. This, this how is how people more eat. More than a game. So question, is this like, is this two out of three? Can we see this a couple more times? Zell walks this one more time. He recognized the pressure cloth, got it into, into James Cook's hands, and then Cook was cooking. Yeah, and just the juke this year, Madden 24, the year of the juke. You got to use the juke. Don't hold on the turbo. Hit that right stick. You want to right crazy? Make moves. I had to, like, I did not know that until about halfway through the year. I'm so used to just holding down that turbo and trying to juke move. You get that big, that long juke animation. Yeah. Let go of that and let him just work because you get that quick sliding juke and it's better than anything. It will change your life. It will change your life. Ooh. Man, man. John is a wild man. I will throw that. I will throw that. Man. I will throw that. I will throw that. Who did he point to? Oh, man. <laughs> He's a madman. <laughs> He's a wild Yo, man. Yo, put that board up. Put that board up. Put that board up. Come on, come on. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Fourth quarter. I don't know what's happening anymore. How did we turn this to a West yeah, yeah. Road game? Hi, West yeah. I don't know how you get a road game in San Francisco. Yeah. We got a road game in San Francisco inside the studio. Looking left side, Zay Flowers. Tough throw, good breakup from Malik Hooker. I, I've never seen, I have never been calling this game for a while. See, a road game in studio. But Wesley's the road team right here. The M factor is sliding towards the beast. This is crazy. Second and 10, 28 apiece. I think Wes got to go to some DB fire with how he's picking this up. Ah. Left side, out there, third and 10. Is this the first third down we've seen? 
this is the first third down I think we see. Especially John. John been moving the ball at ease. There's been a lot of big plays. One more time. Big shout out to PlayStation, the exclusive console provider of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Stroud pressure up the middle. Stepping right. The defense the is good. He'll step out on his fourth and sixth. It, John's going to go. Think, I don't no think John's bringing out the kicker. No thought. He's Coach going. just walked over to the kicker and went, you're good, man. This is Dan Campbell. This is who he is. It don't matter if he was playing for this, if this was the belt game. He's going for this every time. He's got a 20 on the table. He's like, hit me. Going for that ace. Fourth and six. Megatron splits off the bunch. He hasn't motioned out double post all day. Stroud rolling right. Throwing back no. across the body to no. Megatron. No, 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 down no. Let's get the stop. And the game flips on its head. We were wondering who was going to get the first stop. Wesley's defense against Devs is the difference. Could it be the defense here, TD? Could be in the road, the road underdog right now, the, the non crowd favorite. He's taking the crowd out of the game for a second. Crowd's gotten very quiet over there. Good throw to James Cook. Trying to get crazy with him again. He'll pick up the first down. Almost 700 yards of passing offense cleft between these two. A clinic. Yeah, this is a crazy game right here. West, this right here is situation. You can clock this out. This ain't hard to clock out. I'm surprised we ain't seeing more runs from him, especially on first now. Quick throw once again to Dobbs. And he'll pick up another first down on the 31-yard line. Yeah, and so easy to attack the flats there in that 4-3 even. If they don't have any hard flats out there, you can easily attack the flats. The linebackers not being able to get out there, that's what Wesley does. And it's like West got his mind made up that three ain't going to win this game. You know, he's, he's definitely going for seven. That's the running back. Good job forcing him out of the pocket. Maybe a little quick to leave the pocket there. It's good defense, though. Took away everything there. Good user from John Beast. Think these two are gonna grab him by teed afterwards or probably not? You know what? They they might. They actually might. These they two might. actually might. Oh, oh, just Adam. gets to Stroud. Third and ten. I feel the tension building. Third down. Three and a half to go. Stroud steps up. Throws Mitchell. right. He's got Kelsey. First down. To the 13 yard line. Oh my what God, an animation man. right there by Travis Kelsey. That was a great rack animation. You heard him say mid zone. That's Ronde Barber with mid zone. So he's going, if he touches him right there, he's going to knock that, that pass out. It's a good click on by West, though. Cutting in front of that defender. We're under three and a half to go. Stroud. Nobody open. Can try to take off. Pick up three. And now you're seeing that. Both these guys are moving the ball impressively. We've seen that chess match come into play. Mixing up some defensive coverages, trying to find any edge. This is, this is some of the biggest plays in the game right here. I like this combo. Crosser, hitch combo. He had the crosser. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, get the ball off. He was going to have ball the ball tight end crosser. Get the ball off. Can I hear an almost defense chant? <laughs> Very quiet, but... They weren't in, They weren't sure. It's going to go same route combo here on the right. Got the corner route. Oh, he had R1. But back across the middle, it's Dave Flowers. I don't know if I've seen this side of Wesley getting in a long time. John Beast will bring that out of you. What more you want? This dog versus dog. What we want. This is what you want. This dog versus dog. High competition. High stakes. This is what competitive Madden is all about. Yeah, what you made of? In the game. What you made? We can see. We can in see right game. now what these two made of. You gotta love it. And Just give me one. we got money drives coming up. What a man! We got event. money drives. Coming I, up. I like that you don't say money drive. It's drives because we know this oh, game yeah. far from over. Just get that feeling. <laughs> As we see here, that, that was big a stop. completion. And then the great Zay Flowers in the end zone here, and Wesley talking that talk back to John. You just get the feeling this game's gonna come down to like a two-point conversion, right? Right at the end of the game. Yeah. How many games have we seen John Beats play? In this same situation mm -hmm. where he goes score seven, he's going for two. There's no doubt he's going and for I two. I go back and to the- you see it there, two clock already yeah. on. How about that first time we saw him? The the pick against Joke, kick in the field. Like every Jambi's game seems to go down to the wire. Mm -hmm. And he plays all these games the same. It don't matter if he's playing for a, a belt, a ring, or he's just playing online. 15 bucks or just a handshake, it doesn't Bo matter. Bottom line, John Beast is must-see TV.
Over the middle, he finds Travis Kelsey. The third and three. He'll take this probably all the way down to the two-minute warning. There's no danger of, of John B. snapping this at eight seconds, is there? <laughs> He's going to use this whole clock. This is going to be your last drive of the game. If you're in the chat, let me know. Give me a one if you think John B. completes the comeback. Give me a two if you think Wesley hangs on. Two minutes to go. Spot in the semifinals on the line. $45,000 here from the Ultimate Madden Bowl, presented by Lexus. Throws it left side. He's got Kelsey. First down. I think he's actually mad he went out of bounds there. He was trying to stay in bounds. So tough to defend that play, right? Because you gotta gotta use one of those corner outs. If you don't, you gotta come back and worry about that solo side drag. He did, and one of the corner outs was open. There's the ground, Isaiah Pacheco. And Josh That's is doing a great job on this passing plays of moving outside the pocket and, and, and not letting that A-gap come in. Mm -hmm. And keep bringing in this run from Pacheco. It keeps you from pass committing because Pacheco will break a 20, 25 yard run. Third down and four, good run defense. And you're fine with this. You're fine yeah. with it. You know it's four down territory. You got two downs to pick up four yards. That's, that's easy. Stroud, bunch to the right side. Megatron, the solo receiver to the left side. We've seen Zay Flowers solo receiver for a lot of these guys. He's using Megatron out of that solo side. Circle. He had Megatron mm -hmm. touchdown. He had a touchdown. But he takes the underneath. Do you think that was intentional? Yes. A thousand percent. Somebody like Wes, they're not, they don't want you to sit here and clock this out. So he they're gave good giving up the touchdown. He was cool. And John, he would have went down anyway. Knowing John, how we know John and how he played. Yeah, he would have he caught that at the 10 would have taken a seat. Yeah, he was going to take a seat. First down 10, 50 seconds left. Wesley actually used his first time out there. He'll use his second one here. Nice cutback right there on the handoff. Picks up six. The bubble was pretty covered right there, so good decision to hand it off. I don't know if I'm ready, guys. If he, if he scores and goes for two, whichever up one wins, the emotion might be too much. Oh, yeah. oh it's going to be crazy. I might have to leave. And Wes taking timeouts right here. For what? For why? What are these timeouts going to do? He's going to keep running the ball. Just let him, let him clock himself out. Let him dictate the situation and see will he make a mistake. He hands it off to Pacheco on second and four. He'll get the first down and more, breaking a couple tackles at the 12-yard line. Wesley now out of timeout. And if you're Wesley, this is like the worst feeling. How, right what, your palms are sweating. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is worse. You don't want to be on defense in this situation. Play, especially playing somebody They're like They're standing this. in the studio. Look at this. You, gotta run, you have to run commit. You have to run commit. And, say, and if you pass the ball, you got it. Read option. Oh, my, uh -oh, oh my uh -oh. God. Oh, you saw the strip oh. animation, too. Oh, Trying to lose. Oh, Trying to lose. 27 seconds, 26 seconds and counting. Back to the bunch, down to 23 seconds. Stroud in the shotgun, 18 seconds, using a lot of clock here. And look at right side, Dave Flowers! Touchdown! Stroud beats! Decision time! What a guy. Do you think the kicker's coming out on the field? No. He probably sent him home already. The kicker's home. The kicker's in the locker room in an ice bath. He already. He hit him with the LeBron James. Hit him with the neutralizer. Everyone in this crowd is on their feet. The studio is standing. 11 seconds left. Beast, a $45,000 play. Bunch wide. Dobbs the solo receiver. Pacheco on the left side of CJ Stroud. And I think Beast is going to take this time out. Oh, we're going to, okay, we got free football. We ain't mad at it. Are you surprised? Are you surprised to see that? I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. That's not John. Like, everything we've seen about him said no. Said no. You forget how I lost the gap? I've been booing you tomorrow. He got booed in the stadium. And I now Wesley home game. Hope y'all lose. That's a Philadelphia Eagle crowd, man. That's a Philly crowd, man. They're booing you. Santa's here. They're booing you. The thing is, you don't. The thing is, now you take this game to overtime. Neither one of y'all have really gotten There's a stop. There's still 11 seconds. But did you hear what he said? He said, "This is what happened to Gabigol. When he lost to Gabigol, he, he went, went for, for two, two and didn't, didn't get, get it. it. But so, living. But there's been plenty of times he's went for two True. and got it. You know. But so. look at this beam. It's a beam. Jose Flowers. I just. <laughs> Scream at him. Take the sack. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, put your fives up in the chat. Bonus football, overtime. It's all on the line here from the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Yeah. And court toss is huge. It's, 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 Remember, we do get playoff <sighs> overtime rules, though. So, yeah. And it's only but, fitting, right? Grudge match, 
$45,000 online. It's only fitting these two go to overtime. And I would assume we're going to end up in the, the same. We're going to end up in the same position. One of these guys going to end up having to go for two, and it's overtime. Take a look at what is going on over on X. Red Smith is John Beast. Wesley Matthews with nothing short of must see TV. Darth Koo, John Beast is best character in MCS. Matt Mojo, John Beast versus Wesley is wild. Keep using that hashtag, Madden Bull. Appreciate everybody out there tuning in. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis, Cleft the God with you. Can you believe that user took a day off to miss this? It's crazy. Mm. Stroud rolling right. Put the cross. Good user. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh you didn't like blue it. You didn't John blew it. Beast. You didn't blew it, John. <laughs> Not like this. First play of overtime. Disaster! And and that's one of them decisions. That He's decision not to him. That will haunt him for a long. Ooh. That'll haunt him for a long time. And you hear the nice. you got ice. For the win. For 45k! A spot in the semifinals! Ooh. Wesley Gittens in OT! What a battle! What a game. I mean, what a day of Madden. What, 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 what a Jason. game. Unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen a Madden player win on the road. That might go down as the Lexus Stadium miracle.